Hey guys, let's make crab and callaloo today. Crab and callaloo is a very popular dish in Trinidad and across the Caribbean. Most times, if someone mentions callaloo, for me, I think about crab in it. But some people prefer it without the crab. So as there are many variations to this dish, today I'll be showing you how I make mine. This Trini dish is made using dashing bush or taro leaves. For those of you who may not be able to get your hands on this, you can substitute it for spinach. It may not taste exactly as it would if you used dashing bush, but it will be quite similar. Here in Trinidad, you can save yourself the hassle of having to cut up the dashing bush as there are packs of chopped bundles readily available in many supermarkets. I usually like cutting them up myself from time to time though I do appreciate the already prepped ones. In Kalaloo both the leaves and stems are used. So if you are buying the entire bundle and need to cut it up, try to cut it into similar sizes into just to ensure even cooking. You can break off the leaves and cut them together, then do the same for the stems or you can do a shorthand version and just cut the stems and then the leaves whenever you get to them like I'm doing now. Other key ingredients in Kalaloo include okra, pumpkin, and of course you must have coconut milk. Whenever I'm getting crab, I always opt for the vendors to clean them for me whenever I purchase, but they always still require some scrubbing and further cleaning at home. I usually take a scrubbing brush and scrub them or use a knife and just scrape off anything that shouldn't be there. To prepare our callaloo, the first thing I'm doing is adding some avocado oil to my pot. Once it's hot, we're going to saute some onions, some garlic, hot peppers and pimentos. While keeping the heat on medium, we're going to add the okras and pumpkin. And we're just going to cook this for about 2 minutes. Next, in goes our crab, to which we added some lime juice, salt, black pepper, and green seasoning. In case you're wondering, green seasoning is usually just a combination of fresh herbs that we like to use here in Trinidad whenever we are cooking, along with some garlic, some hot peppers, and pimento. We just usually blend it all up, and that's our green seasoning. So we're going to stir all the contents in our pot properly, and then we're going to be adding our chopped dashing bush. We're going to cover this pot for just a few minutes until the leaves melt down a bit as it makes it a little easier to manage in the pot. Then in goes our coconut milk, our water, salt, black pepper and golden ray. We're going to let this steam down in that coconut milk and water until everything is nice and tender. So after a couple of minutes on the heat, medium heat, Everything is going to boil down or steam down. Some instances you may need to use a swizzle stick or a hand blender to blend up some of the ingredients. But in this case, this dashing bush was exceptional and cooked in no time. I personally prefer to see chunks in my callaloo. But if you do want a smoother callaloo, you can of course use the blender or the swizzle stick. So once it's done guys, this is the delightful crab and callaloo. It's typically enjoyed as part of a Sunday lunch, but today I'm having it with some rice, stew chicken, and coleslaw. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you are new to Trini Food, give this crab and callaloo recipe a try soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.